of Jeremiah did come true. The prophecy of Jeremiah came true exactly like God gave it to Jeremiah to tell the church. There's preachers all across this land today warning folks the coming, the soon coming king is coming. He's coming. Whether you believe that or not this morning, whether you believe that Jesus is coming or not, he's coming anyway. He's coming after a church without spot and without blemish. I don't believe he's coming after those dead, dried up places. I'm sorry, I don't believe he's coming after those places that are preaching with false prophets. I don't believe he's coming after those places that's changed the gospel of Jesus Christ into something else. I believe he's coming after a church that said if it worked for grandma and grandpa, it'll work for me. Praise God, if it was good enough for mom and daddy, it's good enough for me. The blood still stands today as it stood over 2,000 years ago on the cross of Calvary. Calvary. It's good enough for me today. This book is good enough for me. God's promises is good enough for me. You need the fire of God in your life this morning. You need the fire of God down in your bones this morning and shut up in you that fire, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost that you can call on in time. Some of you are sleepy this morning and you're feeling like, oh, I wish that preacher would hurry up and shut up so I can go to the house and lay down and take my <laughs> afternoon nap and go to CC's Pizza and eat something. I've got to get this prophecy fulfilled before we fill our flesh bones up. We need to fill our spirit up with God's word, with with his mercy and with his love glory to God this book ought to make you feel as good as that pizza does down the street hallelujah glory to God I didn't feel like coming here this morning either but praise God there's something about the anointing of God that gets me stirred up and gets my fire going glory Hallelujah. You say, well, I don't want to scare folks. I don't want to be that crazy. I don't want to be that charismatic. If you get a, you can't get just a little bit of it. You can't get just a little bit of taste of God. You've got to get it all or you can't have none of it. Glory to God. That's the way it is. It's either right or wrong, in or out. All of it, you can't get some of him. You've got to have all of him. When you get some of him, you hunger for more of him. Until you're jumping in the back of the pews. Until you're running up and down the sidewalks shouting like the prophets did of old. Glory to God, I'm hungry for Jesus this morning. And I want this church to stay on fire for God. I don't want, I don't want us to dry up and blow away like the rest of the places have done. I want us to keep inviting people to the house of God. I want us to show people that we have something different here at Praise Tabernacle. We have joy in a world that's falling apart. That we have peace in a world that's going to the dogs. When they say the bombs are coming, we have not we will not be scared or we will not have fear of the things that the devil will bring upon our land. But we'll stand in the midst of it all and we'll feel that fire begin to bubble up inside of us. That sweet Holy Ghost of God, we'll feel it begin to swell up even when the bombs are dropping, glory to God. We'll feel it swell up inside of us. I'll be not afraid. Jesus said he'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. God is good this morning. Would you bow your heads in this place? There's somebody in this room this morning. I don't know who you are, but God knows who you are. You're hungry for more of God's work. You're hungry to feel that fire once again burning in your life. The way that it used to burn back when you first met Jesus. But all along the way, you've been hurt. You've been cast down. You've been trod on. You've been, you've been talked about. And somehow your fires begin to wither just a little bit. It's just barely burning. 